After reading the book, The Noisy Paint Box, about Vasily Kandinsky, we're going to create an abstract painting that is of music. Vasily Kandinsky had a condition where he could see and hear music. He saw music in lines and shapes. So what I want you to do is to compose a picture with lines and shapes that are inspired by the music that I play during the class while you're painting. You'll start by putting your name and room number on the back of your paper. Put your first and last name, your room number, and your table number circled. And then turn it over. We're just going to use black paint today. And I want to remind you how to hold your brush properly. We're going to use the paintbrushes that have the orange tape on it. They're very thin lines. And you're going to hold it right down by the tape here, where the tape is, is close to that metal part. That's called the ferrule of the brush. This is called the barrel of the brush. And of course the bristles. Now the bristles are fragile. You don't want to press down hard and bend those bristles permanently. A lot of kids don't use a brush properly. They use a brush more like a pencil. When we press with a pencil, we press down on the, on the paper and we can feel the solidness of the table. With a paintbrush you don't do that. In fact, you don't feel the surface of the table at all. When you use a paintbrush, you hold it straight up and down. A pencil, we rest our hand on the paper and then we press down like this and we hold it fairly tight. With a paintbrush, you want to have your arm off of the table. In fact, I'd like it if you stood up today, tucked your chair underneath and just painted without your arm ever touching the table. You dip your brush and then think about what you're hearing and start to make lines. Now lines come in many different varieties and some of the lines are all straight. Some lines are curved. So whatever sounds you hear, think about is it a curved line or a straight line? And then just start painting. There's no wrong way to do this. It's all how we interpret it. You'll notice how many times I have to refill my brush in order to get a nice black line. Also, I'm not pressing down real hard. I'm just using the tip of my brush the more I press down the bristles, the wider the brush gets. And then the wider the line gets. If I use the very tip, then I get a thinner line. Now if you're just getting thick lines, that means that you're using the side of your brush. So if I'm using the side of my brush, that's going to be my line. I'm not going to be able to get a nice thin line. If I wanted a thick line, I'd use a thicker brush, but I want a thinner line. So I'm going to turn my brush now on its end, and now I can get a thinner line. Even though I'm making dots, since I'm lining them up, that is actually a line. Our brain connects those together to create the look of a line. Now I think I'm done. I'm just going to go back over some of my lines that maybe need to be repainted. One more thing. Now it's time to put it on the drying rack. Be sure to wash your brush. Make sure you get all the black paint out of it so the next person that uses it doesn't have their paint get contaminated with the black paint. Do your best work. I can't wait to see 
how abstract these all are.